Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. If you're new or you haven't already, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, share, comment, all of that I would very, very much appreciate. I'm still pretty new. Um, I'm almost to a thousand subscribers and once I get to a thousand, YouTube will let me do things like post and monetize and so please consider uh, subscribing today and if you do, thank you! <laughs> um, thank you so much. I'm, I really, really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, thank you to everybody who watches, everyone who's already subscribed. I know without you, um, this channel wouldn't be what it is today. And I really look forward to seeing what it'll be in the future as well. And um, thank you all so much for um, showing me why Spirit led me to create this channel. Those of you who are new and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, the two yet one. This is book one, and we have book two here. Okay. Um, I read book one aloud live on Facebook, and I uploaded all of those videos here for you to enjoy. If you've already read book one or watched all those videos, um, but book two is available for purchase. All the links that you need um, for my books are in the description box below, whether it's to purchase or to watch those videos of me reading book one aloud so that you can see if you like the story. It's perfectly free for you. Um, there's lots of cool links in the uh, description box below. And if you would like a personal reading, I do offer those. The uh, information for that is at the top of the description box when you first open it. Okay, so today I'm using the Unicorn Tarot by Suzanne Starr illustrated by Liz Hilton. I just, this, this was gifted to me by my sister. I love this deck. And if I need any clarification, I'll be clarifying with my itty bitty writer tarot that I got through a miracle along with another deck. Um, I did a video on the story of the video, uh, the, the miracle. If you would like to watch that video, the link is also in the description box below. It says um, the story of my miracle February 2021. Okay, so um, as a reader, I read minor arcana cards as messages about your free will and major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you created for your life in order to encounter and hopefully learn um, certain lessons of life that when learned raise the vibration of your soul. Um, as you go raising the vibration of your soul, you get a higher life path number each incarnation, and eventually you can reach enlightenment. Um, you can also lower your soul's vibration and go down life path numbers. So paying attention to these major arcana messages are very important. Um, your divine blueprint is, is the reason you came here. It is, it's not just to, uh, the reason you came here isn't just to uh, be born and work and retire and then die. Um, it's to work on yourself. It's to help others. So the true purpose of our life is in the divine blueprint. And so I'm sort of working with um, a type of destiny here, but not exactly because free will can change just about anything unless you get the Wheel of Fortune card, which to me points out a time um, uh, where something has been written, you wrote something into your life path, um, to your blueprint that cannot be changed. And it could be because you did this and then this and then this happened. And so now this has to happen or it cannot happen. And you just wrote it that way. And so that is, um, more like fate. Uh, but that is the energy of life. So you do not have the wheel of fortune in this reading so let's begin here at the heart of everything you've got your own energy taurus queen of pentacles man or woman this can be your energy right now this is beautiful nurturing energy this uh this is a nurturer someone like a doctor a nurse 
um, a caregiver, medical assistant, veterinary assistant, veterinarian, um, anybody who nurtures, anybody who gives care and love. And um, this is a feminine energy. So this is a very motherly energy. This can be a parent. Uh, this could be a father who is very um, loving and motherly. Uh, but this could be your own energy since, you know, you, you may have been... Um, very nurturing and uh, a, a good counselor to others. Um, but this also represents somebody who has a lot of money. Um, the discs are all about your health and your wealth. Okay. So this, this has been you or someone else. Um, okay. So this is what's at the heart of everything. This energy is, I believe, what's affecting this one here in the middle, uh, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles, though it doesn't really look like it here in this card, it's a card of financial struggle or frustration. Okay, this, this can mean trouble with your health or your wealth. So um, when it comes to discs you have to, or pentacles, you have to know... Um, you have to feel which one is resonating for you. Are you struggling with money now? Are you struggling with your health? That's what this is about. Okay, so while um, you may have been um, financially well off, you may have been robustly healthy. Right now you're going through some sort of struggle, whether it's financial or you may be ill. Okay, so I mean it looks very much like the same person. Okay, looks like the queen has decided to take off her crown and start painting, <laughs> you know, but it, it could be that um, you could even be experiencing financial trouble or illness and staying with your parent who may or may not be uh, an earth sign such as yourself, like Capricorn and Virgo along with you, Taurus, okay, but there's there's uh, this energy of things having been um, robust and uh, going well, where now there's some sort of um, challenge, okay? A change. Fives are the number of change. Now, here's what's at the root of everything, and this is a major arcana card, okay? So this is definitely a part of your divine blueprint. Thank you for focusing, camera. Um, now, the moon. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm feeling something out. I feel like there has something to do. We're coming up to a new moon this weekend, okay? But this one is full. I feel like there's something that you did last full moon or something that Yes, it was last full moon. Something happened that led to all of this. And it had something to do with um, shining the light on something that you hadn't known was there. Intuitively, you knew it was there, um, but you were still sort of in the dark about it. And it was shown to you. There was some sort of deception going on. It could be things like... Um, false friends, you know, slander, um, being insecure or confused, okay? There was something that you were not seeing that came to light, okay? And so since uh, you were feeling very um, robust and opulent there for a minute and then now you're struggling, um, I have a feeling that this, uh, this could have been this, uh, if you were ill, you didn't know it. Um, if you were, uh, you were about to hit some financial troubles, you didn't know that either. Yeah. And so I'm feeling like this all kind of started for you right around the last full moon, which is a couple of weeks ago. That's why this is the energy that's at the root of everything. 
And since this is a major arcana card, I suggest that you really um, pay attention to this particular energy because this is, this is going to teach you, if you pay enough attention to what happened here, how you didn't see it, but you kind of did, really think about this. Your intuition knew this was coming somehow, okay? If you are ill and you weren't feeling all that good, but you didn't know why or you didn't want to admit to yourself that you were ill and then you go to the doctor and then you find out what it was, you'll never do that again probably. That's what I'm saying. It's like you won't... Um, not listen to your intuition and know that something's wrong. Something changed. Something is different here. Okay. So this is, this is what needs to really, really, really teach you. This is the only major arcana card that you have in your entire spread. One card out of 10 cards means that this whole thing is in your control. I usually say this stuff at the end of the reading, but this whole um, matter that's going on right now is basically in your control and this that happened in the um, in the the immediate past is what is meant to to teach you the most out of all of this it's also the only water energy that you have in this reading okay so you may not be feeling your emotions right now, but, oh, okay, that's not it. So, well, it could be. You could be not purposely not feeling emotion, but cups is emotion and intuition. And this is the card of intuition. This is the card of Pisces, a water sign. This is the only water in this entire reading, and it's your intuition that is the focus. Okay? You have to learn how to use your intuition. Now, here is the energy that is moving out of your life at this time. This is also something that occurred in the past, not as immediate as the moon. This is the three of rods. You were waiting for your ships to come in. I feel like you had invested in something and um, you were waiting for its return. Something you were very passionate about is Rods is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Three is the number of collaboration. This could have been a team effort, okay? But you stopped waiting. You, are, you were done waiting for your ships to come in because it didn't quite uh, work out the way it was supposed to. And it is probably the reason you are now in this energy okay so if this was say uh, the money aspect of this reading you invested your money and you sent your ships across sea and you were waiting for them to come back and they never came in and so now you don't have as much money as you used to or you weren't feeling so good there for a while um, maybe you were waiting to get better okay and you quite and they didn't you're done waiting around. You're done waiting um, and, and messing with your passions. Okay, now these two cards for me as a reader are future cards. All right, so here we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is the card of independence, okay? This is the card of you having everything you want, except a counterpart. This is you being completely independent. You need no one, no one. This is um, usually depicted by an opulent feminine this is feminine independence, but this can be independence for anyone. This is also representative of a single person, someone who is not involved in a partnership, a relationship, love relationship. Um, this is very uh, similar to the Queen of Pentacles, except this, uh, this is a rich feminine energy. She's got all kinds of money, 
She's got health. She's got wealth. She's got everything that she needs. But she's not a queen. Okay? She's, she's um, a self-made feminine energy. Okay? But this is independence. This is being single. Okay? But being financially secure. Okay? This is success, accomplishment, a time to celebrate because you got where you are all by yourself. You've got nobody else to thank for your success but you. So this is excellent in energy, Taurus. And then here we have the page of pentacles. So there's a lot of earth here. <clears throat> pardon me, in your reading. A lot of this is about your personal energy, but this is a lot about money as well. This is good news coming in, okay? Um, this is, is you attaining your goals. This is what's happening first. This could even be, um, well, this is good financial news. This could be a new job, a new job offer, Okay? Um, this could even be you going back to school for a time. This could be you getting news that your student loan is approved. Okay. And so I just really feel like this is going to happen first. Some good news is going to come in. <clears throat> Pardon me. This could be a job offer. This could be, be you starting school. This could be, um, oh, that, uh, you know, right now you're worried about your money, but here, this is going to fix it. And then you're right back in this nine of pentacles. Okay? Because look. You started off as as is very robust in your own energy, in your own money. And then you've got this, whoa, black mentality. Glass is half empty, okay? But then you get this good news, and it, it's like your energy's been restored. So if this is your, um, your health, I'm thinking that it will not be as bad as it could be or as you were afraid it would be. Here is um, your section over here will tell us your fear. I have a hope card for you, a fear card, a state of being, and an outcome. And interestingly enough, Taurus, this whole line, I call this the staff, okay? This is... Um, tr this is traditionally called the staff. This is the cross. This is the Celtic cross spread that I'm doing. So here's the cross, and then here's the staff, okay? Your entire staff is swords, air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy, and it is even at the bottom of the deck, okay? So this is all about your intellect, your logic, your thoughts, your words, your mind okay so here is your hope another queen okay so this queen is a strong-minded self-sufficient feminine just like the nine of pentacles okay self-sufficient just like the queen of pentacles, this is the nine of, you know, this is what you're hoping for, though. Now, this, this queen of swords learns from the pain that she goes through. She's had a lot of heartbreak in her life. She can even be a, a, a widow. This is someone who will not let the hardships in her life get her down. She has she learns from her hardships and they make her stronger not weaker 
She masters her mind so that when unfair things happen, she doesn't get angry. She simply deals with it and doesn't waste her energy, lowering her energy. She doesn't waste her energy by um, getting caught up in things that don't serve her. She learns and she rises. This is somebody who is an inspiration to others by what they've gone through and how they've handled it so well. This is what you're hoping for, to be this energy so that people can look at you and go, wow, Taurus went through a lot, but look at them. They didn't let it get them down. It, they made it make them better. This is a beautiful hope card, Taurus. You may even be hoping for um, an air sign, but I feel like mostly this is you because of the Queen of Pentacles is you, and then your hope is the Queen of Swords. So you're very much in your feminine energy right now, which is the creative energy. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Here, it's, the, it's all about your health and your wealth and your intuition, okay? And maybe your passion petered out here as well. So you, you don't have um, any cups in here, but you do have this Piscean energy. But this is all, all your mind. So, oops. Now this is why you're hoping to be this. Sorry, guys. This got bumped. Okay, so this is why you're hoping to be the Queen of Swords. Because right now you're experiencing heartache, heartbreak, okay? That came from, the, from this, okay? From this. From finding out what, what was, you know, what was going on here. Right now you're feeling very heartbroken that... You know, you went from being a queen right down to the five, okay? You, you, we just went from you being the queen of swords, and then we go right down to the three. This is a sharp dip that you're hoping that you can ride it out, and I think you're going to. Here's your fear card, and this is um, not knowing which way to go. Not knowing what to do. Not being able to figure it out. And also, this is an element, this has an element of using your intuition to make this decision. Normally, you'll see this figure um, blindfolded. She doesn't have a blindfolded fold, but her eyes are closed. So what she's doing is making her choice with her decision. You already know that your, your intuition, you, you felt like it was maybe off, okay, but it wasn't. This is what this is teaching you, Taurus. So you're afraid to use your, uh, your intuition. You're afraid to use your intuition to make a choice that is very important, okay? And, well... This is your potential outcome, okay? The Six of Swords, yet in reverse. The Six of Swords is, is when you're moving on, okay? From choppy waters to calmer waters. Um, this isn't that. This is um, the potential to repeat past mistakes. This is impaired judgment. This is impaired logic. And this is why spirit made the entire last part of your reading swords okay and you still so you still have this potential to repeat past mistakes It's time to use your intuition to understand when those times are. 
Now, let me tell you something. These lessons that we encounter with our divine blueprint, if you do not learn them, they will come back over and over again until you learn it. If you do not learn how to trust your intuition, you will simply be faced with more of these moments. This is not listening to your intuition. Um, so really the way to get these lessons to go away is to learn them. Sometimes they do go away in this lifetime. It seems like, oh, well, I don't have to deal with that anymore. But guess what? You have to reincarnate and then you have to write that lesson into your divine blueprint again. Because you know, your higher self knows that you need to learn how to use your intuition. It's just one of the things that we do here on, it, on this planet in this um, state of life. We have intuition. We, it's something that we need to learn how to do. We need to learn how to walk. We usually have to learn how to, you know, we have to learn how to talk and all kinds of stuff. And intuition is something we've kind of been ignoring as a people. But it's, it's really a big theme now. Everybody has intuition. In fact, you shouldn't even have to come to someone like me, a tarot reader, to, to give you these insights. The more we learn to use our own intuition, the less you'll be seeing folks like me. Okay? And I just, I believe that the entire world, all of humanity, should know certain things about being a human. And um, intuition and learning how to use it is one of those things. The, the one thing that we really don't have too much problem with when it comes to intuition as a whole as, for society is instinct. We seem to understand instincts. We understand them in animals and in ourselves. Like, you know, it's your instinct to uh, move away from a forest fire instead of run into it. Okay, so there's just a lot of things that come with instinct and intuition. Okay, because just imagine if you didn't know that you shouldn't run into a forest fire. There's a lot of stuff in life that you've got to, that once you learn how to use your intuition and trust your intuition, then you won't be repeating these mistakes. And, um, and life will go smoother. You know, I mean, by not running into that forest fire, you just saved yourself. You either saved your life or you saved yourself from months of recovery from burns. You know what I'm saying? Intuition is very important. And this is the energy that's at the bottom of the deck, is the Ten of Swords in reverse, okay? So the Ten of Swords, all tens are endings, okay? All endings. You see, this is backstabbing, this is sadness, this can be... Um, I look at the Ten of Swords as like lessons, whether it's uh, like ten weeks or ten months, ten years worth of lessons, okay? But yours came out upside down, okay, in reverse. So what that means is um, that the loss, that the backstabbing is over. You have an advantage now. This is success, okay? You may eat at, at this. This is what, this is what is at the bottom of the deck, the, um, the underlying energy of this situation right here is that you're just tired of being stabbed in the back. You're done with it. For reals. For real, for real. So that's why the moon is here. Your intuition can tell you a lot. And whether you were stabbed in the back or you are just upset because you were ill and you didn't realize that this, this is what this is. This is pain, affliction, okay? Shock, sadness, you know? It doesn't have to be people victimizing you. It can just be a lot of sadness that you've gone through, a lot of hard life lessons, a lot of challenges, okay? 
and oh okay so and then underneath that we've got the the judgment card here because um it's time for all this to end you you feel that you feel that this is an ending okay this is the, the 20 this is a an ending and where it's either time for things to be resurrected or to, to just be over and so you you got this now you've you've got this in your mind now this was part of the intuition that you were feeling because this is a major arcana card and this is also what happened before this and um so it came to mind you finally thought it i'm so sick of this i'm so done with you know the these troubles that i keep having well your intuition knew and so spirits big message to you today Taurus is to respect your intuition to respect the intuition of others and to learn what your intuition and instincts are telling you because there's a lot out there you know I mean it, when you're walking out in the dark you it's you feel better when the moon is full because you can see more why do you feel better when the moon is full because you can see more because you know there's things in the darkness that can get you when we walk around without really understanding our t intuition or how to listen to our intuition we're in the darkness all righty so let's get some additional messages or some clarification or some reiteration from the tea leaf fortune cards that are so awesome i love them so much i'm just gonna get this pile um normally i put the deck over here but these cards take up a little bit more space here on my altar and i, I couldn't really fit that right next to the candle so i put it on the other side today i have to get it out of my way now in order to um, do these tea leaves now um this is a huge deck so i have to deal from two from two piles i split it in half so this is the first pile and let's see if my guides have anything else to say to you taurus i'm gonna have to like aim them over here so they don't keep falling <laughs> All right, there's one side. Here's the two of those. So like I said, you have one major arcana card, okay? So most of this is in your control. One out of 10 cards in the spread, most of this is in, um, out of your control. You are missing the cups, and so you need to use your intuition. In fact, that is basically the theme of the, the whole message that Spirit is trying to tell you here. Okay, second side of the tea leaf deck. Wow, okay. <laughs> Is there anything else that you would like to tell Taurus? My beautiful spirit guides. Thank you so much for all of your guidance. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Alrighty, let's see what we've got. We've got wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Oh dear. Okay, well, there's um, a little warning against that. We have this element of indecisiveness, okay? We know why you've been indecisive. You've been afraid to use your intuition in order to be decisive, okay? So put this over here. Bird perched, waiting for news, package, or letter. 
Oh, awesome. I'm going to put this over here by this page of pentacles. That's definitely a message. Lion. It's time to act. Yeah. I, I feel like it's time to understand your intuition here. Wreath. Oh, my goodness. Sorrow over loss. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry, Taurus. I put this over here. By the three of swords, the heart, the heartache. Okay, barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. Hmm, maybe. I'll put this over here by the allowing your life to ramble here. Woman. Dealings or relationships with a woman. Alrighty, there's a look. Queen energy going on over here. Nine of Pentacles. Yep. Okay, something's going to happen in August. That's coming up in the next few months. Crib. Oh boy. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Yay! I just got this for um, Capricorn. Interesting. Uh, wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Watch out for those, okay? That's not good. Har hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. Oh. Hmm. Well, it could be mentally, I'm thinking. Skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. You know what I'm feeling from this? This is from, um, this is about your health. If, if you were ill and you weren't listening to your intuition, like I said, you know, waiting around for it to go away, um, this is an important, in a, in a very important, um, message for you okay listen to your intuition about your health fly a period of ill health and depression oh wow okay so you have not been feeling well you you are a little sick right now but the thing is is you're going to recover or you wouldn't have the nine of pentacles you wouldn't have the page of pentacles okay it's going to work out I'll pray for you as well. An older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. Okay, so this could be your mother. This could be your grandmother. This could be a boss. This could be um, a doctor. Okay. Yep. In fact, maybe this queen of pentacles is the doctor who told you that you were ill. All right, Taurus. Well, I pray that you get better. I think that you're going to be fine because you do have this nine of pentacles where you're independently wealthy and healthy and you're going to get through this. Um, do not do repeated mistakes. You can make this card flip with your free will right now. Just say, I am going to not repeat mistakes. I am going to move on from repeating this type of mistake. I'm going to listen to my intuition and to my body for the, for the rest of my life. That's it. I've just decided and I'm going to be more um, diligent when it comes to my health and my wealth and I'm going to listen to my intuition because it has a wealth of knowledge that will keep me happy, healthy, and safe. Okay? All right, Taurus, that was your reading. I really hope that you enjoyed it. See you next time.